welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys our newest home project that we just completed my husband and i this is something i've been wanting to do and it's right behind me on this curved staircase wall i've always wanted to add some type of texture or wainscoting but i just wasn't sure of what i wanted we did do some wainscoting over on this side of the wall but i wanted something different for this lower section here and so after going through tons of like pinterest pictures and videos on instagram and youtube i finally found the one and it's perfect i am in love with it and i love the way it turned out i actually didn't even expect it to turn out this good now at first it was a little challenging just kind of trying to figure out the dimensions and all like all the measurings but once you jump into the project and actually start getting your hands down and dirty you are going to complete this in three easy steps all you need to do is trim meaning it's all going to be 45 degree angles so you're going to need a hand saw or an electric saw next you're going to need a nail gun because you want to nail everything down and third and last it's going to be a prime and paint and that is it so i decided to paint mine the color of our curtain borders and it turned out lovely i had originally seen a video and tons of posts on this influencer on instagram and she actually has it on her uh, curved staircase wall so i already had an idea of what it will look like in my home i just had to imagine it and kind of like you know picture it so um, I, that kind of really did help a lot. So now that we completed it and now that we've done it, I just wanted to share with you guys of how we got it done. And I promise it's super, super easy. So I'll bring you guys up in a closer look in just a little bit. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and explain of what we used. And this is the piece of material that we used. We purchased this from our local Home Depot and this is all we needed. And so um, Home Depot sells these in like super, super long pieces. I think they're like 16 uh, you know foot long but we went ahead and measured our wall and then we had to do all 45 degree angles at the top and then just a flat cut at the bottom so once we did that we went ahead and took our nail gun we nailed everything down and then i primed it there were some areas where i did need to do the caulking of course the whole top and the bottom i did need to do the caulking but in between because this kind once you bring these two together they're going to kind of just like you know like kind of connect together but there were a few areas where you can kind of see like the gap and it was really bothering me so i just took the caulking gun and then just go, went ahead and filled it in with that and then paint it afterwards and it turned out perfectly perfectly fine it's just too perfect so let me go ahead and give you guys a closer look okay as you can see here um, this is what we did and we went all the way from the very very bottom to the very very end of where the um, curve ends so we wanted to do this this is just a type of style that i wanted and you guys i am in love with it so so much i think we did such a really really good job and i'm actually very very impressed of like how perfect our 45 degree angles just kind of connected nicely and it just goes nicely right underneath that curtain trim that we already had so I'll take you guys up closer as you can see here so the only areas that required the caulking was of course the entire top area and then the entire uh, bottom area here and then of course around that outlet that we have here that we thought it was going to be a little bit challenging but luckily like once we started nailing every single individual piece I'm going to take you guys down there so you guys can take a closer look once we nailed every individual piece and we got up to here we kind of thought that was going to be an issue because of the outlet but luckily like it kind of just like laid out perfectly because the last piece was this one so all we needed was two under here and then the third one and so that worked out amazingly for us because then that made it super easy we didn't have to do like no additional weird cuts sometimes when there's an outlet in the way and you're working with wainscoting it can be like a really pain in the butt so i am really glad that that wasn't in this case but um yeah this is how it turned out and i'll show you guys right over here i did have some hard time removing some of the tape so you can still kind of see the tape is like stuck there but uh this wall here is just a flat wall let me kind of move back here and then this is the actual foyer curved wall so um i went ahead and taped it here and went ahead and just painted what is called the trim here all the way to the top and then left this wall with its own color so it's just the wall that we worked with that we went ahead and primed and painted it and so 
Uh, this is the way it looks. And now I'm just going to give you guys a little preview of my husband and I doing the entire work. And I'll just explain to you as we show you the video of exactly what we are doing. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a closer look of the piece one more time before we jump into the DIY project video. But um, I don't know if you can tell, but this piece of wood here, it is not flat. So pretend this is my wall. This is not flat. It does have a curve to it, as you can see there. But this part right here is what goes onto your wall. And then you're gonna nail it right on the center. Um, that way you get the entire flat area you know kind of like connect it to your wall so then these little uh, wings here are sticking out and that is what makes the actual line texture when they connect with each other they're all going to connect nicely if you do cut them to the perfect size so if you have all of them connected nicely it's going to give this nice little wave texture onto your wall so i really love the way it turned out so let me know what you guys think but i'm going to go ahead and do a little time lapse of my husband and I working on this project and I'll explain to you as the video goes what exactly we are doing and I promise this is something you guys can knock out yourselves it's really easy to do and you'll love the results okay so here we are heading out to our local Home Depot and this is the actual product that we purchased and so we got the quantity that we needed they are super long so we did do some additional cuts at the Home Depot but we brought them home that same day and we started cutting the 45 degree angles and we weren't actually supposed to start on this day this day was just supposed to be the day that we purchased the product but we were kind of excited to get started we started off with one and then another one and then the third one and next thing you know we got this far so we needed to stop because i needed to serve a dinner and so we just went ahead and did quite a few here on the side and then we left the rest for the following morning so um, we went to bed that day super excited and happy because we did quite a few strips and it was looking really really good so the following day here we are and we said this was going to be the day that we would complete the rest of the wall so as my husband was working with the table saw outside uh, he was bringing them inside handing them to me and here I'm just putting them together and then I'm just nailing them down with my nail gun Okay, so here I am showing you the wall once we had already uh, took our caulking paste and covered every single nail that we used on these pieces. So now it's ready for me to prime it. So right before I go into my color paint, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. So I took my primer and I kind of just started at the top and worked my way down. Um, I just thought that was like the simplest and easiest um, way to do it and so as i was priming i did notice a little bit of gaps right in between the boards so once this dries completely i'm going to go back in with my caulking gun and then just kind of caulk the little areas that need a little bit of more filling Okay, so here it is. It's all nice and dry. This is all just the primer. It looks very similar to my trim color, but I still have to paint it. But here are the little gaps that I am talking about. So now that it's completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and take my gun and just add some caulking and fill in those gaps. And then once that complete, completely dries up, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Thank you. 
All right, so I finished painting and now I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry a little bit. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning the area because it does get a little messy. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and then I can't wait to put my table back and decor pieces back into place and show you guys the finished product. Well, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching and if, if it was and if it was helpful in any way. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one.